Today, Mike has a broken record and talks more about outros? Yeah, really? Is that all this guy talks about now? He talks about now? Talks about now? Talks about now? Talks about now? What is up everyone, my name is Dusty Mike, and today we're gonna further discuss outro slates. Last week it occurred to me that not everyone knows how to create an outro slate. Now I'm not gonna hold your hand and tell you how to do every single thing step by step by step by step. Instead I'm gonna give you some ideas to create your own outro slate if you're not the best graphic designer. Now of course if you know how you can make an awesome one yourself or you can simply commission someone that knows how to create one but what happens if you don't have money or you don't have the knowledge to make it? So the methods I'm going to show you guys you can use Photoshop or you can even use a free photo editor and it will work in pretty much any video editing software as long as it will allow a photo layer and a video layer. Now of course if you do have Photoshop or fancy boy video editors then you'll have more creative freedom to do what you want but these methods will work no matter what system you use. If First option is use colors, text, and shapes. Start with making a colored background, then use rectangles to make your featured video slots. Add text, your logo, and whatever else you see fit. Want a border? Use four rectangles. And if you have Photoshop, you can add cool effects like gradients and things to make it pop even more. Now, if you don't have a video editor that supports multiple layers, place thumbnails instead of slots for moving video. Save it as a picture and you're good to go. Now the second method is the same as before, however you're going to be using stock photos or stock graphics to use as your background. Either find it royalty free or license out professional looking ones for cheap from sites like VideoHive or Pond5. If it's used correctly, it can look quite professional. Now for the last method, instead of using stock photos, use stock graphics or video. This way you can make an animated outro without the use of After Effects. Delete the background layer from your outro, save it as a transparent PNG file, find a stock motion graphic that you like and place it below your PNG file in your video editor. And now you have a moving outro that looks quite fancy. Now if you've done these three steps, now you have the ability to create your own outro with little knowledge, little money, and little time. And now that you have your outro, you can start redirecting your traffic where you see fit. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you want to see more of my tips and tricks, you can click the playlist in the sidebar. Or if you want to see more of me, you can come to my daily vlog channel and hang out with me every single day. But anyways, guys, that's it, and we'll see you next week. See ya. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.